Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So as a part of our Postgres tutorial series, we learned a lot of thing in that tutorial, right? Uh, we installed Postgres um, database on our server, right? And then we created database, we created roles, right? We created lot of objects, tables, views, functions, procedures, etc., right? now we are starting a new tutorial and that is about the liquibase okay so liquibase is a, an automated deployment tool which can be used with any databases right it supports multiple databases like oracle postgres mysql or sql server and many other databases okay so it's a very good tool for you know automated deployment right otherwise you'll have to you know give manual um, sql file uh, for the deployment right and you have to deploy in each environment right so without wasting time right let's start okay so just before starting i would recommend you guys to go and watch at least first and second lecture of postgres tutorial series where we installed postgres on system and we created databases and roles in postgres okay so once you do that then we will be using liquid based tool to create any object on any database right table function index views anything right so we'll be using our deployment tool that is liquibase right so this is the first lecture of liquibase uh, uh, in this lecture we will learn about installing liquibase okay and uh, you know setting up liquibase okay <coughs> so let's start okay so before that uh, let's check in our system uh, right that is the liquid base is already installed or what are the things we need to you know uh, make our liquid base work okay so basically you need you know uh, two things uh, for liquid base to work one is the liquid base itself and and another one is the java on your system okay so let me open programs programs add a review programs let me check if liquibase is installed or not liquibase okay so i don't find any application so liquibase is not installed let me check java is installed or not okay java is also not installed okay so we have to install the liquibase and java okay we can also check this in our uh, no, command prompt so uh, in command prompt um, the commands to check uh, java is java space dash version right so it's not uh, it's saying java is not recognized then we can check liquid base also liquid base space dash dash version right this is the command to check liquid base so liquid is also not recognized right and we need both java and liquid okay so yeah so let me open first the liquid base uh, doc page okay so this is the uh, doc dot uh, okay so if you open this uh, doc page so we have this tool right and uh, in this tool uh, this is the doc page of this tool right so everything is there in this doc page okay so uh, we'll start from the no uh, starting okay so uh, first thing is we'll check uh, the system uh, requirements okay to you know install liquid base so uh, to check that we have to you know go in install liquid base okay and uh, you can see here you can install liquid base on windows mac os linux unix system that meets the hardware requirement so let's open the hardware requirement so hardware requirement is this disk space you should have is 300 mb processor you can have any one intel arm processor speed should be uh, no one at least one cpu should be there in your processor and memory is required is at least minimum 1 gb ram okay so this is the hardware requirement in software uh, you should have minimum java 8 okay on your system so that is the and any version of uh, windows mac os or linux os should work okay so it, it works on all the operating systems okay so that is about hardware and software requirement guys 
so let me just close this okay now we are going to uh, no install uh, the use this one install liquibase on windows first option right to start with before that um, um, i just want to show you like what are the database you know uh, liquibase supports so you can see liquibase cli ships with drivers for many popular databases right db2 h2 hyper sql firebot maria db ms sql server oracle postgresql snowflake and sqlite so we are using sqlite uh, sorry we will be using postgres uh, for this uh, liquibase demo so let's start uh, installing liquibase on windows okay so just click on this install liquibase on windows okay so once you click on this we have two option automatic and manual we'll go by manual okay so first is install java we are going to install java and then uh, install liquibase right so just click on this download installation file so once you click on this uh, it will start uh, downloading okay so you can see it has started to download right now let me just uh, uh, go back in tools and integration okay and in tools and integration click on maven okay in maven click on first option installing the cubase with maven on linux mac os okay so here it is about installing maven we are not going to install maven okay and just scroll down so you will see uh, there is a verification to check for java installation right so here we have one link just click on this and click on open in new tab okay so here we have java downloads right so you can see uh, we have uh, java 23 21 and java 17 are available now 21 is the latest long term support so under 23 we are we will install the latest jdk 23 so we have linux mac os and windows let's click on windows and in that we have compressed installer and msi installer let's click on uh, 64 installer so just click on this so it will start downloading the you know jdk as well uh, let's wait for you uh, know uh, jdk installation uh, jdk download to finish liquibase is, has already downloaded so now it has downloaded jdk 23 and uh, liquibase 4.29.2 so let's go in our downloads okay so we have both uh, jdk and liquibase downloaded uh, let me create a folder in our uh, k directory named as liquibase okay so let me create a folder liquibase okay and let's put our installer in that both the installer so let me move the here okay now let let let's install one by one okay so let's install jdk first so just double click on that yes and then it will uh, show you a wizard where it will just click on next okay so path it is giving c uh, program files java jdk 23 right so just click next it will install here and it started to install okay so let uh, so i think installation finish so just close this okay now let's open command prompt command prompt and let's click check java java dash version okay so you can see java is installed which is 23 java version 23 right so our jdk got installed right now let's install liquibase okay so double click on that so click on yes next so it is installing in c program files liquibase click on next add liquibase to the path okay so it will add a path also in our environment variable so just click click uh, no keep this check box ticked okay next so started to install liquibase okay so just click on finish okay so see it has installed here in local disk program file so we have liquibase folder and all the liquibase files are there right 
and we also have in program file java jdk23 which we just installed right now let's check our uh, no uh, liquid base version i q u i liquid base dash dash version so liquid base is not recognized because we have to set up a environment variable so just uh, just search environment click on edit the system environment variable click on environment variable so in this there is in user uh, variable right so click on path just double click on that so you can see uh, for liquid base it has already added the path we have to add path for uh, jdk okay so let me just uh, go in program files and let me go in java jdk bin folder let's copy this and then let's create a new uh, click on new in environment variable and just paste this okay so jdk uh, path is also set and liquid path is also set click on okay okay and okay okay now let me just you know close this uh, command window and again open a new command window command prompt okay and let's check now liquid base dash dash version so you can see liquid base is installed right it is 4.29.2 version it is showing right so liquid base version is working good right let's check java again java dash version okay so both uh, we are able to install both liquid base and java right uh, on our system right now one more thing we have to do uh, is uh, download a driver since we are using postgresql database for demo so just uh, you know search download postgresql jdbc driver okay in google download postgresql jdbc driver so first link just click on this so you have downloads and these are the latest version so we have java 8 java 7 and java 6 we are using the latest one so we'll download for java 8 and the driver is 42.7.4 just click on download okay so it is started to download jam could harm yes keep so click on keep so it has download so just uh, from the download just you know uh, move this to i'll move this to document okay so i'll just keep it here so yeah and we'll use this uh, for you know uh, liquid base setup uh, this driver is will be used postgresql jdbc driver okay so guys we were able to install you know uh, liquid base right in our system we were able to install java in our system and we also downloaded uh, jdbc driver postgresql jdbc driver right and we kept it here right so i think uh, now you guys know how to you know download and install liquid base and right in the next lecture we will learn how to set up a liquid base folder right folder structure and configuration maven uh, maven structure for the no, liquid base so that we will be able to uh, deploy our you no know, database changes change sets to the postgres database okay so I think uh, from this lecture, uh, that's it, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Yeah, thank you, guys.